Okay, in this video, we're going to take a more advanced look at uh, calculations involving uh, chemical formulas. In a previous uh, video, we learned how to convert one gram of magnesium nitrate uh, to moles of magnesium nitrate. And in this video, uh, we're going to extend on this idea, uh, the goal being to, to actually calculate um, the mass of uh, nitrate in one gram of magnesium nitrate. So I'm going to write down the goal of this video. So the question is, uh, or the goal is to calculate the mass of nitrate in one gram of magnesium nitrate. So we're taking a more advanced look at mass and mole calculations using a chemical formula. Um, <clears throat> the calculation that we used in the previous video to find the moles of magnesium nitrate is an important aspect of that of this. And that um, calculation is shown here. We're going to need this piece of information because in order for us to find the mass of a component that is embedded, if you will, within the formula of a compound. First, we're going to need to know the moles of that compound uh, given uh, an initial mass of that compound. So we're going to we're going to need to utilize this information. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it down and rewrite it here. So we've got 0 0.0067 moles of magnesium nitrate to start with. Now it's important for the viewer to realize that in order to do any kind of uh, um, mole c calculation um, given mass, we always have to be converted into moles and the reason for that is is because you can only compare the ratio of elements in a formula based on particle relationships and so it's important for you to remember that once we've converted from mass into moles we are in fact in units of particles at this point all right and so now we're able to compare uh, the ratio in which magnesium and nitrate appear within this formula and you can see that the nitrate is within a parenthesis and outside of that parenthesis is a two this indicates that the nitrate within this formula is present two times. So there are two nitrogens and a total of six oxygens in one unit of magnesium nitrate. So we can use this, uh, we can use the idea of a mole and a mole ratio to figure out how many moles of nitrate are in 0 0.0067 moles of magnesium nitrate. And the way we're going to do that is by multiplying uh, the 0 0.0067 by a ratio, uh, a mole ratio. And what we're going to be solving for is the nitrate. And so in the top of this fraction, we're going to write how many moles of nitrate are found in the formula, and there are two of them. Okay, there are two nitrates in one unit of MgNO3. All right, and um, we want to cancel the magnesium nitrate. So we write down the number of moles of the compound, which is M one mole of Mg NO32. The point is, is that in every mole of magnesium nitrate, there are two moles of NO3 minus. And then of course, you know, multiplier method, this is this whole quantity here is over one. All right, and so this is going to equal, when we do the division, 0 0.0134 moles, or when we do the multiplication, excuse me, when we do the multiplication, this is going to equal 0 0.0134 moles of NO3 minus. So this is the number of moles 
of NO3 that appear in 0 0.0067 moles of MgNO3 2. Keep, keep in mind that for each mole of MgNO3, there are two moles of NO3. So what that means is that you've got twice as many moles of nitrate for every mole of magnesium in this compound. So now we're almost home free. So what we're going to do now is, is th th that we have uh, successfully found the moles of the nitrate. Now we just need to convert it into grams. So I'm going to pull it down. We've got 0 0.0134 moles of nitrate and what we want to do now is find the mass of it so we're going to need the molar mass of the nitrate and uh, at the bottom of the screen I have uh, I've captured um, from the periodic table the information that we need for that calculation all right we see the night the nitrogen has an atomic mass of 14.01 so we need the molar mass of the nitrate. So we're going to calculate the molar mass of the nitrate now. There's one nitrogen in it worth 14.01. And then we've got three oxygens, each of which is worth 16. OK, for a grand total of uh, 62.01. And that's grams per mole. So now we can use that value. We're going to want grams of nitrate in the numerator. And we're going to want the mole in the denominator, or the bottom of the fraction, because this needs to cancel with this. So uh, the number follows the gram, so it'll be 62.01. See that the moles cancel. <laughs> And uh, we find that there's going to be 0 0.831 grams of uh, NO3 minus in 1 gram of magnesium nitrate. So just, just as an aside or a way of finishing this off, now we can find the magnesium very easily because we know that originally that there was one gram of magnesium nitrate in the problem and we know that the whole the total nitrate is 0 0.831 grams of that so running the calculation This is going to mean that the magnesium itself is 0 0.169 grams of, uh, and don't forget this is an ionic compound, and the magnesium is actually magnesium plus 2.